Let's say you've just finished creating an entire animated flow of a mobile app in After Effects, and now you want to user test it and actually get it in the hands of your users. Do we recreate that entire animation in a prototyping tool like Figma or Protopie from the ground up? That's a ton of work. Let me show you a super simple way to get your After Effects animations onto a device so that you can start user testing super quick. Let's dive. So here in After Effects is a very simple, here in After Effects is a very simple flow that I've created of this alert dialog box coming up, tapping it, and another one coming up, tapping it again. We're gonna actually take this and put it into Protopie with a few simple triggers to make this into a fully functioning prototype that you can actually go and test. What we're gonna do first is we're actually going to take away all the taps and we're just gonna export this entire thing as a video. I have the video here and you can see I have the dialog box coming up, going away, coming up again with the new text and going away again. We're gonna use this video to create our prototype. All right, here we are in Protopie and we're just gonna drag in that video right onto our scene and we're gonna just make sure it takes up the entire space here. Doesn't need to be super perfect, we just wanna make sure it takes up the majority of the space. Uh, we're gonna just go ahead and autoplay it and we can see right here that it is auto playing right here. So what we wanna make sure is that all of these moments of dismissing these dialog boxes are actually triggered by some sort of input uh, from the user on their actual device. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually just use a series of plays and pause and seeks in Protopie to kind of fake these animations and make it feel like you are actually controlling what is happening. So let's go ahead and set this up. It's okay if you're not super familiar with Protopie, I'll walk you through all the steps. What we're going to do is basically have a start condition. So that basically means as soon as this prototype loads, these things are gonna happen. And we're just gonna use this playback uh, trigger. We're gonna select this video, and we're just gonna make sure that the video is paused. And then we need to decide what is actually gonna trigger that alert. So let's say that the user tries to tap on settings, and we have this alert come up. Okay, so we are going to make sure that this is here, and this is just gonna be our tap target. Because as you can remember, this is just a whole video layer. So we kind of have to fake some of these tap targets. So this tap target is going to be here. And we're going to say when you tap this, you're going to uh, do something to the video. And what you're going to do is you're going to actually play the video. We want to make sure as soon as we tap it, it plays the video and immediately that alert comes up. And so if we take a look back in our After Effects composition, we can get that specific time code. So when does that actually start animating on? That happens right at 0.48 seconds. So we can go back here and add a playback here where that it will seek to that specific time. And so we're gonna do zero colon zero zero dot 48. And we won't notice anything different because we're just kind of going forward in time and pausing right before that alert pops up. And what we wanna do here is we want to play the video, okay, when we tap this. So let's go ahead and preview it right now. So if we tap it, we see that the alert comes up. It feels a little bit delayed. Let's dial that in and, and maybe seek it to eight seconds, uh, 0.8 seconds instead. And then we'll go here and when we click on it, boom, it's going to show that alert. All right, so we can see that that interaction is working, but we also need it to pause as soon as the thing comes up. And so let's make sure that we pause it at the correct moment. So we can duplicate this trigger and we're gonna say pause and we need that to be delayed a certain amount. We need to know how much time passes between clicking it and the thing going away. So we'll do this and we'll give it a delay of 1.5. And so you can see that when we hit it, it's gonna pause completely over there. And now we're gonna wait for our next interaction, which is hitting this I'm sure button. Okay, and we wanna make sure that we hit that correctly. We're gonna duplicate this layer, bring it over here, and that button is right around there. And when we tap that, we are, when we tap rectangle two, it's going to play it, and then it's also gonna pause. So let's see what happens here. So we're gonna hit that, it's gonna play, and we're gonna dismiss it, and we want the pause to be more like one second. Perfect. All right, so this is working pretty well. And the next thing that we wanna make sure is that these tap targets are not visible. If we go ahead and turn the opacity down to zero, it actually doesn't become a tap target anymore. So we need to turn the fill down to zero instead. If we tap on settings, this will pop up. And if we tap on I'm sure, it will go away. And so by taking our video from After Effects and putting it into Protopie with some simple playback triggers, we can make that video feel like a prototype. And so when we look at it on the device, it functions just as a prototype would. Hope that helps speed up your workflow, and I'll catch y'all next time.